So after posting nearly 1,000 YouTube videos for my clients and helping them get millions of millions of views, the process of uploading and publishing YouTube videos has become second nature for me. In this video, I'm gonna show you the five-step process for uploading YouTube videos that will help you get more views, more engagement and create more qualified sales opportunities if you sell any kind of a product or service. So this tutorial is going to show you how I'm going to upload this very video that you're watching right now so you guys can see that it actually does work. This is by far the most efficient and streamlined way that I found to upload YouTube videos in this day and age. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hector. I help online service-based businesses scale their businesses with YouTube and let's dive right into step number one, which is gonna be the preparation stage. So the first thing you wanna do is watch back the video, the actual video file, and make sure that there's no mistakes and make sure that everything looks as it should. So at this point, you should also have your thumbnail ready. And what I'd recommend doing is having you or your graphic designer create three different versions of the thumbnail with some different you know, types of copy, some different text, maybe some different colors, because when you have more options, for example, three different options, it will be easy to find the one that you think is gonna have the highest click-through rate. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna write a really good title. And it's important that we do this now and you'll see why in a moment. So having a good title and thumbnail is really, really important because this is the first impression you give to all of your new viewers. Think of it like packaging on food items in a supermarket. If your packaging is bad, then nobody will even buy the food item in the first place and they won't even know how good it is. So it doesn't matter how good the food tastes, i.e. the content of your video, if the packaging doesn't actually show that it's good. For this reason, it's super important to write a really good title. You wanna package your video around an outcome that your target audience wants to achieve or a problem that they want to solve. And this is where you wanna leverage your understanding of your target audience and their psychological state, for example, what they want to get out of life and leverage that to write titles that are gonna be compelling to the types of people that you wanna attract. And the title of the video should sell them on what they want meaning it should tell them that they're gonna get what they want, and then the video content should help them achieve that. So after you've written that title, you now wanna take that title and you wanna rename the video file name to the title of the video, because the YouTube search engine and the YouTube algorithm looks at this as a source of information when deciding who to show the video to. So this is very, very important. So now let's dive into YouTube Studio and start uploading the video. What you wanna do is head over here to the red create button, click that, and then hit upload videos. And you wanna drag and drop the video file that you renamed into here in the middle or click select files. So I've got the video file here. Now, of course, this is just a random video file because I'm showing you how I'm gonna upload this exact video Video that you're watching and I'm recording it so I can't I can't have the actual video file if that makes sense but you just want to go here you want to drag and drop it and it will start uploading the video and so now we're on to step two which is the video details the very first thing you want to do is grab the title of the video in this case we can just grab it straight from the file name here copy it and paste it like so you wanna obviously make sure that it looks all good and make sure that it looks as you planned out when you wrote out the title earlier. And as you can see, I've actually already got upload defaults going on right here. So I've got kind of a call to action and I've got a link to just a video that explains how I help my clients. So if you do sell some kind of a product, you wanna make sure that this is kind of a short, compelling description of your offer and then that it's gonna redirect traffic to this page, whatever it may be for you specifically. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this UTM tracking link right here and I'm gonna change this video title part to just the title of the video. So as you see here, I'm literally just taking it um, from the title that I wrote earlier and then beginners guide 2024. And so what this is gonna do is it's gonna help you see where your sales opportunities are coming from for your business. So you know what types of videos are doing well for you specifically. And so I've got this here. You can also see I've added my Instagram. You wanna add any of your other socials profiles so you can cross pollinate your following across platforms and it will help you, you know, grow your audience. I also have it there. So in case any of my YouTube viewers 
want to message me directly, they can go ahead and head over to my Instagram and do that. So now the next thing I'm going to do, because I want to rank this video in the YouTube search engine, I'm going to go ahead and write a quick first line descriptor is what I call it. And I'm going to put that at the very top to give the YouTube search engine more information that my video is about this title. So for this, you can use a tool called Tube Buddy. I will leave a link to this tool and Chrome extension in the description in case you want to download it and use it for yourself. But as you can see here, I've put in the title of the video and then I've written out a first line kind of a description. So this is going to go at the top of my description. And your goal here is to give the YouTube search engine and algorithm more information about what your video is about so that YouTube can then show your videos to the right people. And the formula that I would recommend for writing out this first line descriptor is first of all, sentence starter and then title restate and then a keyword repeat. So you can see what that looks like right here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy that like so. I'm going to head back over here and I'm going to paste it at the top of the description. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and upload the video thumbnail. Now, in this case, I don't have the thumbnail yet, but you just click this and then you select the file and it will, you know, upload and it will show up here as a preview. Next, we have playlists. Now, if you add it to a playlist right now, then just keep in mind that it's going to show as a unlisted video on that playlist right away as soon as you hit the save or schedule button at the end of this five step process. So if you don't want it showing straight away, then just add it to a playlist later. For the audience part, in most cases, you're gonna wanna set it to no, it's not made for kids, unless you know otherwise that your videos are made for kids. And then now it says show less here, but you'll just click this show more button like so. You wanna have this turned off unless you know that you have some kind of ad or um, paid endorsement in your video. Altered content, you can set this to no. This automatic chapters, this is optional. You can either tick this on, YouTube will use their kind of AI engine to listen to what you're saying in the video that you've uploaded and create chapters for you. Sometimes this is accurate, sometimes it's not. It's up to you. In tutorial based videos, I would probably recommend having it on because then people can see all of the specific steps that you've got in the video and it makes the value that they're going to get from the video more tangible, right? So featured places, unless you are, I don't know, creating a video for your coffee shop or you're in some specific location, then you can turn this off. YouTube will look at the description, etc. And if you're repeatedly mentioning a certain location, then they will automatically pin this video kind of to that location. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. I'm also going to turn automatic concepts off. And now we've come to the tags. This is quite important if like this video I'm uploading right now, you want to rank it in the YouTube search engine. So what I'm going to show you is a YouTube video tags guide kind of document. Um, we're going to go through this very quickly so you guys have a good idea of how tags work. So the tags of your videos are a source of information that YouTube uses to know where and when to show your videos. Your goal is to feed it information that best indicates that your video is about the title. Similarly to with this top line descriptor, with the tags, we also want to feed more information that the video is about. In this case, for me, this main keyword of YouTube video posting settings. So that's the main keyword that we're going to base our tags around. And now for the tagging framework, below are a set of steps decreasing in importance going down the list. So you want to fill the character limit as much as possible with step one, while still keeping the tags relevant and not confusing to the search engine. And then do the same with step two right here. And then finally with step three. And a really effective way to come up with tags is by using the YouTube search bar and by typing your main keyword into the search bar. For example, I could type this YouTube video posting settings into the YouTube search bar. As you can see right here, I've gone ahead and copy pasted the, the main keyword of the title into the YouTube search bar. And you can see these kind of different variations of the title that we can then use as tags. And some tagging best practices are to front load the most relevant tags, only use tags that are relevant to the topic of your video and that match the title. So don't confuse the algorithm or the YouTube search engine and don't try to trick YouTube. And you wanna take advantage of the full 500 character limit, but make sure to not add any irrelevant keywords that kind of just confuse 
the search engine or the algorithm and don't use names as tags unless it's in the title of the video. Don't add your own name as a tag. Like I wouldn't add Hector Johnson as a tag unless it was in the title of my video or unless it was heavily searched. So here's an example of how to apply this framework for a video titled how to scale your coaching business in 2024. You can see we have the video topic tags in red. Then we have the variations of topic tags in green. And then we have the YouTube search bar suggestions in blue right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the video tags for this video that you're watching right now. And I'll be back in a moment once I've done that and we're going to take a look at them. So now, as you can see, I've gone ahead and written out the tags right here using the same framework and formula I just showed you guys. And what this is going to do is I'm now giving YouTube a bunch of information about what my video is about, and it's going to help it rank in the search engine. Now, after you've written out those tags, what you want to do is scroll down. You can pretty much leave these settings as they are, leave the license and all these parts as they are. And then for the category, you just want to look at this drop down list and find the category that matches your content the best. You know, if you create entertainment based content, then go ahead and select the entertainment option. Um, in my case, it's education. So if you're doing any kind of content that's teaching like tutorials or something similar, then you want to set it to education. And if you do set it to education for these settings, you just want to leave it fairly basic, pretty much turn off all these things and switch the academic system to none. And then these, you wanna leave comments on ideally, unless you have some reason not to, I'm not sure what that reason would be, but, and then you wanna sort by top comments and show how many viewers like this video. Now, the next part is the video elements. So we're just gonna go ahead and click right here on video elements, unless you know specifically that you need to add subtitles, then you don't need to add subtitles. So if that's the case, you can just leave it as is. Now, I think in this case for this video, it's not gonna let me add an end screen because the video file that I uploaded was just so short. You know, it was an example, as I mentioned earlier, but what you can do is click add right here and you can add video elements such as a subscribe button, or you can add a video to, if you have a sales video at all, you can link that right there or you can just do a recommended for that specific viewer, which will show a video that is most likely to match what they wanna watch next, right? And for the cards part, if you mentioned any of your other videos within the video that you're uploading right now, then you can go ahead and do a pop-up in one of the corners, like the top right corner, kind of linking to that video. And this is what that looks like. You can either link a video, a playlist, or a channel, and you can use this selector and this timeline right here to choose when it shows up and for how long it will show on screen. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and hit discard changes. And now for step four, which is publishing the video. What you want to do is head over here to visibility and then you want to click here on schedule. You can hit this drop down. And what I recommend doing is scheduling the video for a weekday. It's good to keep consistent posting times. And ideally you want to look at where your target audience is located. And in most cases, posting at the beginning of your target audience's afternoon is going to perform best. You can go ahead and use this tool, which is called World Time Buddy. In my case, I'm located in Dubai at the moment and pretty much all of my viewers and everything are in the US. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and figure out when I want to publish the video in New York or in Los Angeles by right here. I can see on this timeline and then I'll line it up and this will help me see what time I need to upload it in my current time zone. Let's say I want to upload the video right here. So at 5 p.m. in New York. Then I go ahead and line that up and then I can see that I need to upload the video at 1 a.m. on the next day. So you can go right here and select the day that you want to upload on. So let's say I want to upload on Thursday in New York time at 5 p.m. As we just figured out using that tool, I'll go one day after, which will be the 19th for me in my time zone. And then I'll go right here and I'll go to 1 a.m. And then after that, all you have to do is go ahead and click this blue schedule button right here and your video will be scheduled. And then finally, step number five is cross pollination. So what you wanna do is you wanna take this video and share it on all your other social media profiles, whether that's your email newsletter, whether it's Instagram on your story, whether it's LinkedIn, whether it's Facebook, whatever social profiles you use, you wanna go ahead and take traffic from those profiles and move them over to your YouTube channel. So for platforms, like for example, LinkedIn, you can actually schedule a post 
with the link to this video, this link right here, I can copy this and I can add it and schedule a post on certain platforms so the posts will go live at the same time as a YouTube video. Or what you can also do is just when the video goes live, you can go ahead and make those posts then. And it's important to do this because not only can you get more views on your videos, it will help you build traction, but the YouTube platform and YouTube also loves it when you direct traffic from external platforms onto the YouTube platform, because obviously they want more people on YouTube and watching YouTube videos. That's it for this YouTube video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Now, if you are an online service-based business and you want help getting inbound leads and signing clients with ease, from YouTube, then you can go ahead and click the first link in the description. If you want, it will take you to a video that explains how I potentially might be able to help you. So that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.